Alright, so now I have finally gotten around to updating the Freddy vs. Jason 1-6 scale Freddy that I had last year. Did some uh, reworking of his pants and boots and his glove. The glove's pretty minor, just added some additional weathering to it. But the pants, if you remember them, they were kind of... I bought them, and they said they were brown. And uh, they were kind of green. So that wasn't really good, but I didn't have time before bringing it to the convention to really do anything. But now, they're the movie-accurate gray. They're weathered and nasty. The bottoms are all torn up. The boots have been redone completely. I found a lot of pictures of the costume itself. Uh, got a good look at the, the pant color and the, the boots are actually like kind of tan work boots with a lot of weathering on them. So, upgrading that on this figure. The head, you can see here, has been ground down to nothing. So there's no head left. It's going to get worked on soon. Chop top. Got a lot more work done on him. Started hairing him. He's not done yet. But he's, uh... In the work still. It's starting to look more and more like the character, I think. Still have to order the actual clothes for him eventually, but I got a lot of other things I want to order before I get around to that, so uh, kind of holding off on that right now. And that brings us on to what I'm calling the Cerberus Customs Commission Celebration, mostly so that I could put a bunch of C's in a row. Alliteration is awesome. But, basically I'm trying to clear off a lot of my older stuff that I haven't really gotten around to working on. As I said in my last video, I'm trying to do more six scale stuff. And before I get into all of this, I want to just say right up front, I'm accepting commissions on pretty much anything right now. If you're interested in me making any kind of figure for you, 6 scale, 7 inch like this, 3 and 3 quarters, mighty mug, whatever you want. I mean, shoot me a private message here on YouTube and uh, we could talk about it. But these are a couple that I'm kind of, or not a couple, these are a few figures that I'm kind of wanting to work a, a little bit of a deal on. All of these are going to go for a little less than they would have normally, just seeing that. I'm just trying to clear off, clear out some space on my workbench and get these out the door. I don't really have plans for them. Back here, I know I offered this guy up a while ago. He's still available. It's my old part for Jason. As I said, he represents some pretty old work on my part, but I'm going to let him go for a pretty good price. I mean, really, you're going to end up paying for the materials that went into him. So, you probably get a pretty good deal on this guy. Um, also, I got the Part 5 Roy 7 inch scale figure. He's up for grabs as well. He comes with his meat cleaver there. The mask is removable. You got Roy there and his cowl. The camera would focus on him. He is available as well. Both of those guys going to go for a good price because I really, I mean, I have another Part 4. I have the Mezco one. And then the Part 5 is one I want to redo. But I don't think I'm ever going to if I have this guy sitting on my shelf. The rest of the stuff I've got, let's see. This is the start of a pre-Uber Jason from Jason X. As you can see, I've got a okay amount of sculpt done on him already. Still a bit more to go. The head has to be done. I have the beginnings of a straight jacket somewhere. Um, I couldn't find it when I was trying to take it out, but it is somewhere around here. So if you wanted to pick up this commission, you let it go for a pretty good price. Since I already have parts for it and I already have work done on it, you could save a little bit on them. Same with back here. This is kind of a stylized Bloody Myers. It's a little less realistic looking. I was trying to go with something that kind of matched some of the other Mezco stuff that I had. So he's got kind of bigger flares around the wrists, and the jumpsuit isn't exactly the right shape. And that was all kind of intentional on him. So he could be done up. 
as a bloody. Honestly, if you wanted him to be hobo, it'll cost a little extra to get the other parts for him, but that can be done as well. This thing needs to be reworked from the ground up. It's a uh, predator I started on. Honestly, this thing, you got a tall, skinny character you want commissioned. It's probably a good body for it to work off of, so um, any ideas for that, you can go ahead and message me about him. They got the two short guys here. I got uh, what began as Tommy Jarvis. I could continue with it in that vein and go with a uh, maybe a young Jason from part one or actually any of the young Jasons would probably work well with his body. You could see him compared to the other one. He's a little on the shorter side, so I think it would work well for kid, teenager, whatever you want to do with them. And here is the beginnings of a trick or treat Sam that I'd done a long time ago. Once again, finish that. If you want maybe a Chucky or something. And these are just suggestions for what they are. Like I said, I mean, the, besides these two guys on the ends here that are uh, finished pieces, the rest of them can be torn down. I'm basically just saying I have bodies that work for these things. So uh, you can make a commission a little cheaper for not having to pick those up. But as I said before, Accepting commissions on pretty much anything right now. If you're curious about any of this stuff or anything else, shoot me a PM and uh, we can talk details. And just because I ended the last video with the dog at the end, here, stare at the cat.